Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, dear listeners, from wherever you've tuned in to this channel all over the world. Welcome to Verdict TV. Breaking news. Activists to federal governments. Stop IPOP before Southeast becomes totally ungovernable. Do welcome to this news. And thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please do well to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please carefully listen to the end. A rights group, Federation of Nigerian Activists, FENA, has expressed great worries over the dangerous activities perpetrated allegedly by the prescribed independent people of Biafra Hypop in Iboland, leading to killing, kidnapping of people, as well as disruption of business activities in the land. Declaring that the organization had lost its original purpose and must be stopped before it makes the whole of Southeast totally ungovernable. Convener of the group, Comrade Mark Adebayo, gave the stand in reaction to the latest developments in Southeast region, expressing doubt whether the original plan of the organization was to turn into a terrorist machine against the Igbo people, even as they quickly noted that the Igbo leader, Unam Dekano, would not be happy about it. Hypop has lost its original purpose and must be stopped before it makes the whole of Southeast totally ungovernable, it declared. Gunmen suspected to be enforcing Hypop every Monday sit at home order had in recent time heightened attacks in the region as it continues to strongly demand for the release of its leader, Unam Dekano who has long been in detention following his ongoing trial for secessionist moves. Comrade Adebayo, while making the call that IPO be stopped now, quickly recalled that he was in support of the group at the initial stage, hoping that its agitation for a separate state of Biafra was a genuine liberation struggle which I considered legitimate agitation in the country where some folks have superiority complex against the rest of us. The rights activists, however, said he had since changed his mind as, according to him, a genuine altruistic struggle born as a reaction against injustice has been hijacked by sophisticated criminal forces whose actions cannot be deemed anything other than terrorism. They are killing their own people. They are raping their own people. They are kidnapping their own people for ransom. They rob. They destroy properties. They have not attacked innocent children in writing exams in their schools. They impoverish their own people by stopping them from doing their businesses for a whole day, thereby killing their businesses. They decap pardon, they decap they decapitate their own people in a more horrendous way. They have made the Southeast a no go area for many of their people. As against their culture, Igbos now bury their dead in other lands where they live and do business for fear of being killed or kidnapped. High pops criminalities hurt the Igbos more than any other ethnic group in the country. How do you kill a people you claim you're fighting to liberate? It doesn't make a single strand of sense, he stated. Speaking further, Comrade Adebayo, who is co-spokesperson of Coalition of United Political Parties, COPE, however, said there was need for a political solution on the case of Unamdekanu, urging that the federal government should seriously consider releasing him and thereafter crush any group that claimed to be high pop. I doubt if the original plan was for Hypop to turn into a terrorist machine against the Igbo people. But that's what it has become. 
I doubt if Unam Dekano would be happy about this. But that's what it has become. I doubt if Master Unam Dekano would be happy about this, he said. Moreover, I think in order to stop all the secessionist agitations in the Southeast and even in Nigeria as a whole, restructuring Nigeria has become an unimpeachable reality in order to give each geopolitical zone in this country a sense of justice, equity and belonging. And for the case of Mazonam Dekano, it is better for the federal government to have a political solution to this because that is only what can bring an head to all this agitation because there are some people who are hiding under high pop to make sure that they disrupt the seat at home orders and this seat at home orders is actually killing their businesses they, they, they destroy properties they kill they rob they rape and why will they be doing this to their brothers and sisters. At least they said they are agitating for a state of Biafra. Why are they causing more harm to their brothers and sisters? So the federal government should step in into this case. And that is why the right group have spoken that the federal government should stop IPOP. And the way they can stop IPOP is to release Mazonam de Kano. And after releasing, they should scrap any group called IPOP. And see whether there was, there's not going to be peace in the region because this I the, the, those unknown the IPOP this was not their intention from way back but unknown people has hijacked it from them and it is very difficult for them to have what they wanted back and be sure that Unam Dekano will not be happy with every of this but it has commenced so release of Mazonam Unam Dekano will bring a lasting solution to this problem. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view concerning what the groups have said? Please share your view in the comment section. Thank you.